comment if we should bleach our eyebrows next time. Ooh, yes. There you go. There you go. If they say Thank yes, you. we'll bleach our eyebrows next time. What could possibly go wrong? I bought a product that's a shoe into work. It says on the box. It's like the equivalent of buying a box die. But I will do it if they say yes. How many? How many likes? Your loyal fans. <laughs> how many likes? Um, ten thousand. Ten thousand likes to I, uh, yeah, I bleach our eyebrows. Yes. Sure. Yes. <laughs> the regrets. I guess you can be the test as to whether this bleach is any good. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Oh, it's so chunky. Yeah, you're going to have to give it like a good whisk once it's kind of in. It's just all these bits. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a freak. I you're am. You're tell me what to do. I know. Okay, so before you even put it on, we're going straight to the root. Mm -hmm. And you're going to leave it just like a tiny bit off these edges as much as you possibly can because it will bleed down a little bit. And if we have to, we can go back in and go overlap. Because if you get it on, obviously, your hair that's already pretty light, yeah, you're going to have a bad time. Yeah, oh, good. I mean, yay. Yeah, so now you get to deal with the coordination of... of okay, can you move it that way? Yes. Oh, perfect. Okay. <laughs> also, as a present, if you ever want to get me a mirror that can stand behind me, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> Turns out that when you print, you can't see your reflection. No, I mean like your hair's not perfectly split, but there is not a hole in there. Ugh, why don't you do the back? Can you, can you, how do you do this? A lot of practice, a lot of willpower to not kill myself. I can't at all see. Wait, okay, no, wait, okay. If you just up. Yep, okay, let's try that. Wait, try that again? Yeah, okay. Oh boy, wow, okay. Alright, I'm not worried, it's fine. I'm not worried. Wait. I'm not worried. Oh, that. Where is it? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I can't figure out the right way. Hold on. Yeah, it. Just try moving your brush so that you can see if you can get it straight. Okay, wait, can I, sorry, can I ask you to boot again? Yes, okay, cool. Okay, all right, brush, brush, brush. Okay, come back up, oh, no, no, right, no, no, yay, 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 yay. Oh my god, you just had a box backwards. Okay, wait, 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 I can do this. I can, I can do this bit. I can't even do this bit. Okay. Yeah, try and do the bit that's closer to you first. Maybe that'll help. Maybe if I just stop looking in the mirror. Yeah, actually, sometimes also just getting the feel for it too. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Yep, and remember, it can touch your scalp. It can touch my well, scalp. Well, yeah, because we need your roots to be done. Yeah, that's true. That's so true. Okay, now if I just go back a bit. Yeah, even just feeling around. Okay. Yeah. Well, also, if you want to, you can lift your hair like up over here so that you can do the under bit. Does that make sense? Because uh, then yeah. it's against. Uh oh. It's okay. You're okay. Mm, define okay though. I mean, I've done it before where I've hit other hairs. It's kind of really impossible not to. Oh god. Wait, this is just the first. <laughs> yeah. I'm done already. I'm absolutely done. Okay. You're gonna tell Brad Mondo you're done. Yes, I'm. I'm gonna tell Brad Mondo that like this is as much bleach as I could do. Yes. Okay. Remember, at any time I can just take over for you. The worst part is I'm already ready for you to take over, but. Yeah, see, you got it there. Yep. Thanks. Okay, I think I did that one. Yep. Okay. 
Yep, you did. Cool, and I need to do under now. Yep, so like underneath even, like here's the thing, like if you grab all of your hair taut and you can like bring it up like that, you can like swipe up a bit. Like that? Yep. Near enough? Yep. And because here's the thing, we're going to go back through it and you might find little patches that you miss. Like there's that little bit you haven't done there, but you also don't want to overlap it yet because yeah, you're wetting. And like you've got to actually touch your scalp. Like, oh. that way it'll definitely be, like, okay. on your scalp. Okay. Which, you know, Fine. Bernie scalp. Okay. Are you ready to take the second bit of hair down? No, I'm done bleaching my hair. I'm already, I'm already done with it. Um, oh. Here's the thing as well. Uh, yeah, take the next bit down and maybe do the underside first. And don't forget, you can use the end of your little brush thing poke through <laughs> it's the wrong part of your head <laughs> that's also so much yeah. <laughs> okay well we're just gonna put some back yeah because it might be easier for you to get the underneath first and then you can do the top. Also, just imagine a nice sensual massage up your head. <laughs> that will slowly start burning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, how would have you felt if you were doing this by yourself at home? I don't know how you do it. I, I, honest to God, I have no idea how you do it. Blow my mind. Okay. Even sometimes, like the thought of getting the bleach on the other side of the brush so you can rotate it and use your brush the other way. Yeah. Yep. Is that good? I think you can swipe up a little bit further because. Yeah. Unfortunately, when your hair grows out, it doesn't grow out like perfectly no. evenly. But we're just trying not to saturate those overlap bits, yeah. Okay. And yeah, you can put more on at your roots, yeah. Because remember, saturation. 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 Okay. Now we can let it drop down, fall down. And then hold it taut. So even if you sometimes re-grab it so that all your hair is taut again. Oh, uh, yeah, you're a genius. And then... Is that the right angle for you? And uh, yes, that's good. refill your brush with bleach. Yeah, hey, Linda, do I do it with bleach? No. Okay. Yep. And remember, you like press against your scalp because you can get. Oh, sorry, you might need to move the cords. No, you're good. Can you bring more that way? No, the other way. Yeah, good. Saturation. Uh, oi, oi. <laughs> Sometimes you just need to feel it more than anything to get your hand in the position. Visual thing, it's on me. Okay, great. Okay. And you can put more bleach onto there because it's quite. You can still see your hair. You're okay. and yeah, and okay. you want it so, thick. No, this probably seems really tedious. Oh, no, no, no. I've had to do it myself before. I know how, like, difficult it is to get your hand in the right place. Yeah, and also swiping up onto that under bit that, like, you already have up, that's fine because you're going to bring the hair back down anyway. Fantastic. Okay, great. So that should be done? Yep. Um, just remember, you got to get that bit behind your ear because, like... bleach 
Yeah, I think. Hold on, can I just see? Because I haven't used that bleach before. Girl, I'll be honest. You can go nuts. <laughs> You're already over it. Yeah. Well, I mean, yes, but nothing good was ever easy. Look, if you want me to do it, I can. If you want to keep learning how to do it, we can keep going. Or I can do your back and you can try your front again. No, I think I think I should give us a real hard crack. Yeah, I think. okay. But, but I will fix up spots as we go. Say, yeah, let's do that. Okay guys, so it's time for me to do my roots again, as you can see. They're pretty grown out and I'm reaching the point where I just don't think I can leave them much longer. But the color that I did in my hair last time is still pretty much here. Like it's not as dark, but it's definitely faded out into a pretty nice blue that I really can't complain about because I haven't had to re-dye it. Now it's got some like lighter spots and you know, darker spots where it's a bit more silvery. Um, it's got some still darker blue bits in there, as you can see there. So I think it lasted pretty well. The only thing that still didn't last was the pink. I'm going pink. Um, we're first doing my roots and then, uh, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna see if we can get this color out by doing a bleach bath. But I do quite like it. I have obviously had a haircut since last time um, you saw me and my hair is a lot nicer. It's got some really good layers in it. Uh, my friend is going to be helping me today with bleaching my hair. Uh, I usually do it on my own, but she wants to learn. And as I already showed her how to do her own, we're going to see how it goes. And if my, all my hair falls out, you can blame her. Why does it keep happening? Because you didn't pin it. Uh, so I think the trickiest part is this overlapping section, really. Uh, so we're just going to see how it goes. And I will be using, instead of the clay lightener like she did, the normal blonde me um, that lives nine levels because it works, as well as my 20 volume developer. My hairdresser who cuts my hair did suggest that using the 20 volume is better. Like one, it's better for your scalp, but I think there's like a split view on whether you use 30 to like lighten faster and more intensely, or whether you use 20 to do a slower process. Um, I'm at this point used to not even timing my hair, to be honest. I'm just watching as it goes. And even with my friend's hair before, you know, it said 45 minutes, leave it on. We had to reapply because that balayaging bleach really doesn't bleed or soak in, which I guess is why it's a balayaging bleach. So I had to apply it on thick and keep applying and it wasn't really heating up, which normally it would heat up a little bit. Um, and it was drying out quite a bit, which I think is part of its thing. I'm not sure, I've never used it before. But um, yeah, I don't know. We're gonna just see how it goes with me trying to bleach this as light as possible. I mean, the, the text. You ready? Yeah. Look, she's blonde. Oh God, we did something okay. <laughs> Look, I tried at the beginning, but I came to the conclusion that I'll be honest, you do it much better. I also find if you go up first and do the underneath yeah, first. Yeah, that, that would be a genius idea, huh? And like, you can grab a lot of bleach and you can lay it on thick. Right. I lay on thick. Yeah. I just panic. I know. I'm like, but like if you last. put it on thick underneath, it'll come through to the other side and then like you put more on top on the other side and you're good. I think you can also see my one shorty. Do you see my yeah, one shorty? <laughs> That's my one it's broken so bit. Cute. That's the one bit that I think so far I found that broke. Well, get ready because you're about to find one. <laughs> <laughs> We're about to fuck it up even more. Daphne, don't chew your foot. Oh, it's like I'm at the salon. Like oh, I've got to remove the rest of the color too. Yeah. When are you going to do that? Um, I once I wash this sort of out, I'll assess and go, I'll probably just bleach bath my whole head, honestly. Yeah, that's fair. That's all, that's my personal information. 
Oh yeah. Also, if you need to, you can always like comb it through through the piece of hair if it's like knotted back up before doing stuff. Yeah, that's fair. Oh my god! Oh my god! Check your bank. I love it that we just watch your scam video as well. Oh my Yes, my mother. Oh God. Oh dear. How long? I think it lasts ages. It's like a chemical. I but maybe is it like once you open the developer, it's like, yeah, your developer only lasts this long, but your bleach powder lasts longer. Because I mean, I have some like blush and stuff that I've had for many a year. Blush? <laughs> yeah. You know, so, you know, and they're just like, yeah, 12 months, and I'm like, you mean 12 years? Some of them even like six months, and you're like... Yeah, I mean, I get the mascara thing, and I guess eyeliner, because it's like right on your eyes. Yeah. But like eyeshadow, it's there until I finish it. Yeah, I would never throw out eyeshadow. No. Apparently you can turn it into paint. You could also, like I saw someone mix it into their clear acrylic powder so you could have colored acrylics yeah, yeah, yeah. and I was very curious you which I need to do next time I wonder what the difference as well would be between like a expensive eyeshadow and like a cheap eyeshadow when you do that nothing exposed <laughs> <laughs> Fucking conspiracy Nothing. theory right here. Mm -hmm. Brad, are you happy with her sectioning and like how thick her sections are? And mm. I can't actually say that. Sections so hard right now. So hard. So hard. Local fucking Coles, Woolworths. <laughs> you go to buy a go to Wrigley's gum and oh yeah, cash out, yes please. Oh uh, how much? Forty thousand. Oh, uh, um, did you want that in twenties? So yeah, can I just get that in? Just $5? do it at every cash register. Yeah, I actually have done that before. I had to take out like a thousand dollars and I couldn't be bothered. And she yeah. goes, oh the limit's two hundred and twenty, just because of the area we're in. Mm, I was yeah. like, okay. I had to buy like five sticks of gum. <laughs> Come back. My name is Mr. Burns. <laughs> and you see, you have a thousand dollars for me. Ah, the feeling of bleach. How nice is it? How it just like itches and burns it's, at the scalp. It's kind of like getting a tattoo, but like... A little bit. No, as in like, you know, when you get a tattoo, I get like a second one. It just feels really good. See, so I haven't had my second one yet. But have you got a second one? No, but like I feel like I'm kind of at that point where I really want one. Oh yeah. But I don't know what I want. I want another one. I'm very uninspired at the moment. That's fair. Comment below and tell me what I should get. <laughs> oh, please tell her what she should get. Where and what are the options for like what body part? Um, I mean I like I'm thinking forehead. <laughs> you know, just Sailor subtle. Moon. <laughs> It's not a moon on my forehead. Yeah. You no, know, the band, the like headband thing. Oh, the tiara. Yeah. <laughs> it's like an L. So you wear one and then you pull it off and it's still there. <laughs> um, I might want Daphne as like a cartoon version of Daphne. What if we have best friend tattoos? I mean, I'd do that. And then we break up. <laughs> Just get a picture of me on you. Hot. Yeah, with your hair like this. <laughs> you know, like we're gonna be very matchy matchy with our hair currently. <laughs> Honestly, it's like yours is dark at the ends, then goes lighter. Mine's light, dark, light. <laughs> yeah, but mine's just generic ratchet right now, so you yeah, know, it's not great. Okay. Um, but it's really funny. I showed a photo of like the um the murder mystery to Max and Laura. Yeah. And Laura's like, um, oh, so you and your friend, do you like coordinate hair colors? Like every day. Every day we coordinate our hair colors. <laughs> every fucking day. We call each other every morning. Like, mm -hmm. what are you wearing? I know I won't see you, but just in case. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. It's looking real good. And you've only lost yeah, no. like a quarter of your hair. Yeah, I know, it's fine. Yeah. I have pretty thick hair. I'm really impressed. Yeah, I thought you'd lose it all, but <laughs> I'd say so, you had this point from that first video, I'm not surprised. 
<laughs> Her first video was such a fluke. Like, so much could have gone wrong. I feel like that's any time you bleach your hair, though. Like, I'm not gonna let it go wrong, it's just like so much chaos happening at the same time. I do think my hair looks much nicer now that we do the roots. Like, yeah. when we're trying to just do the balayage thing, like, there's just so much, like, uncertainty with it all. Get them baby hairs. Yeah, you've got a few little stray got... hairs. Do I have them as well? Yeah, then this is also like a common thing for me. Like, I, at some points I used to think is a breakage, but it's literally just I've always had these little hairs from here and here. Uh, you know what, Linda? I think maybe I should just go all black. <gasps> Do it! Fuck you. <laughs> so when I went to high school, hmm. my first day in year 10, I had a nice big red streak at the front of my hair. Yeah. From my like year homeroom teacher whatever she was um she saw it and she's like linda get rid of that by tomorrow and i was like but i just did this i'm so cool and radical. yeah anyways so my solution to that was to put black box dye over it yep and it went like gross pool green yep and that's why that's when you told your teacher well you asked me to get rid of it yeah she did she had like look. look at it and go fuck linda what did you do uh she didn't say it in those words but you know we didn't have a great relationship her and i it's fair okay i reckon i'll start like it's definitely super blonde cool. it's just maybe a couple of places where it's not bleeding yeah so i'll just redo them yep So this is how it turned out. Uh, my friend Linda ended up doing like the rest of my roots. Uh, she had to go, uh, so I went over them again because there were places she had missed and there was stuff that just needed to be saturated more. Just a bit of a difference in like how thick the sections were and all of that. But we got it pretty even and it is a lot lighter I think than last time. It's still a little bit yellow, but with going pink, that's not really much of an issue. My biggest issue is like the fact that this is still blue. Now, just for future reference for anyone, if you were always going to do like the same kind of hair color and doing like a darker shade at top, if this is what you got, it's not too bad. Because then by the time you bleach your hair next time and you're going to overlap that there, and you're going to overlap this section, most likely this section is going to bleach lighter and sort of match the rest of your hair. Then this is dark again. So at least your old root section should take a lighter color if you're doing that. But this time for me, I wanted to go pink. And I think like some pinks will go over this, like there's definitely some really light bits, but then there's like stuff like this, where this, oh, where is it? The sapphire crazy color has just like held. I didn't even recolor my hair, as I said earlier on, and I just, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, have I had any breakage? Yes. Um, only in these couple little pieces here, I think, Maybe when I went back through it after my friend did to just double check and reapply in certain places like when shifting the hair I've gotten more bleach on them than I needed to and that's the only breakage so far I bleach bathed it. This is as much as I can get out. I could do a color remover But I'm never gonna touch a color remover just like I will never touch a perm um, I would prefer to just bleach over it again than do a color remover because honestly I'm more afraid of that than bleaching it so 
I've got, so this was the pink I really wanted to go. It's the Cotton Candy Pink by Manic Panic. Um, I know I've said before, I don't really use Manic Panic anymore because it doesn't hold in my hair that long, but I kind of was limited for options. My friend also had this um, Dare color, Raspberry Sorbet. Um, like the idea would be this on the roots and then this on the ends. I don't know if this is gonna go on the ends. Uh, so I'm gonna do a test just to see how it is. And I think I'm gonna get as much of my hair pink as possible. Um, so doing sort of like a similar thing last time with the blue, um, but if I have to add in like a couple blue pieces, I will, or even leave some of this in as blue, I will. I also have her poisonberry purple color. I have my uh, crazy color lilac, and I've got my like slate and graphite, which obviously seem to be the exact same thing, and I've got my moody blue, yeah, my moody blue by Pravada. So I think this is gonna be another combination hair color, but we're trying to make the main concept pink. So as my hair grows out, I can do more pink into it. I should probably also tell you what I did in the shower. So um, shampooed and conditioned my hair with purple shampoo and conditioner. I then also put a treatment in, which was my, my um, Schwarzkopf Blonde Me treatment, which I've used before on this series of videos. Oh yeah, you can see where I think it's taking a whole different color. I think it's kind of going purple. I mean, to be honest, I'm not hating this purple that's sort of coming out of it mixing. So I think this is kind of what I'm going to go with. We're going to go, I guess, pink and like purples with hopefully little amounts of blue. I am definitely gonna have to have blue back in there because there's so much blue currently in my hair. I mean, is this a thing? Like doing the light pink into like, it kind of going purple because I had the darker bit of hair there into like the light blue. Is that like a, is that a good idea? Okay, I know it looks messed up now because my scalp has kind of died when trying to do this, but I do think we're going to go with from the dark, hopefully in some places into the lighter pink. I think it's definitely just gonna be dark underneath because of the light crap. Um, then we'll kind of go into this like bluey purple into blue ends. Okay, so I'm doing something similar to what I did last time, splitting my hair down the middle so that when I'm dying, I can go this way and I'm going like, Yeah, this way. No. Fuck, ah, what did I do? I just remember this way for this bit of my hair, I guess. That way for this bit of my hair. But anyway, just because where I've got my part and stuff, I want to be a bit more feathered. So hopefully, we have something cool and I haven't like made a very poor decision in trying to change my hair color. Thank you. 
I might take my uh, toothbrush and brush my teeth in the laundry. Okay, I saw you taking so long. It's just hard because I have so many different shades to deal with, and the fact that some of my hair is still blue. Hi, YouTube. This is Caleb. He also calls himself Uncle Loops. Take that as you will.
Okay, so I'm just showing you what it looks like straight because I usually curl my hair. Um, but this is how the colors sort of turn out. Which I think it's really pretty. I just don't know if it's my favorite sort of color. Um, I really like more underneath here. Like these pieces I think came out really well. It sort of incorporates the blue that I had. I like the purple and it melds like the pink together. And I've got some lighter pink up there. But I think my placement could have been a little bit better, especially like under here where I've just got this huge pink strip. I think I needed to make some lighter pieces around my face. <laughs> and I like the concept of having some of the lighter pieces on top but I think right here where I have my part line, it just kind of looks like I'm bald. So I should have done that, um, the darker pink. I, yeah, like I think it looks pretty cool. I just, I think maybe it's not the right pink for me. Even this lighter pink, Let's see if I can find the section that has a better picture of it. So you can see the lighter pink here. Um, it's got an like orange tone to it. Not my favorite thing. And then this pink is very, I don't know, like I kind of like the color it's come out on the ends where it's mixed with the blue, but otherwise at the roots, maybe I'm just not used to being pink. It's very bright. Um, and then I think maybe my placement sort of up on here could have been a bit better. I was avoiding putting any sort of like blue and purple up there because as it grew, grows out, I want it to still have the pink tones on it. Uh, so I didn't put the purple on there, but I'm wondering if I needed to put a couple pieces like higher up near my scalp. But anyway, um, we're gonna see what it looks like when it's curled. I think it's kind of cool. Also the back, I think because I couldn't really see, I should have done a couple more of the bright pieces down here. Some like actual more pink in the back. So I think I'm just sort of failing a little bit on placement, not necessarily with the colors. Like I think it's very pretty. I have had to move my part line over just this little bit more because it gets a little bit more boring if I keep it where it was. Whereas if I bring some of the blue over, there's just like a nice highlight there. Um, so yeah, is it as good as last time? I don't think so. Is it really cool, pretty hair? Yes. Okay, honestly, I am loving it a lot more now that my hair is curled. I usually wear my hair straight, so I think that is helping a bit. I still think it's a little bit, maybe too much of a light pink, or it's like a pink with like an orangey undertone. So not sure how I feel about that, but I definitely think it looks really cool. It works with the blues that I had going on underneath. I think a few places got a little bit muddy with like trying to mix it together, but overall, I think we did well. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys what this looked like after its first wash. Uh, the pink, like a lot of pink washed out, which happens anyway when you color your hair, but a lot of it was from my scalp. So my scalp was no longer pink, so it looks much better. Uh, the pink also didn't bleed into the other pink, which I guess is what you want from a color. And the purple has held in these little bits of like blue under here are still there. And it's also looking really good. I think that's just this one piece here I'm pretty sure had like a bluey bit in it uh, from the underlying blue there. So that's kind of washed itself out now, but that's fine. Um, my hair is very soft, very shiny. And yeah, I think it's holding up really well. Really happy with this look so far. And yeah, thanks for watching. We'll see what happens next time. Um, and yeah, bye.